Oh, our roadies, welcome to the road trip. Hi. Roadies, first and foremost, I'm sorry it's after 5 o'clock. The, the thing took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Yes, it did. We got there at um, 2 p.m. and we left there at 5.30, mm -hmm. give or take, around 5.30. Yeah. Um, and we were stuck in traffic for an hour. And my phone died in between the auto, all that. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the North American Auto Show. Well, it's in town this weekend. Ugh. <laughs> but let's get straight to the news here. Yes. So I met with the urologist. Mm -hmm. Urologist, by the way, love him. Love him. I was so nervous this morning, roadies. I was just a wreck. Not a wreck, but just not like a not just tense. You know what I mean? Like very, yeah. not knowing what to expect. I had a bad, you know, case with the first urologist. You know, just didn't know all that jazz, right? So the resident came in first and he um, kind of explained everything and he said, um, I'm going to go talk to the urologist because we're not sure if we're going to take, if, if one of the options is going to be taking the full kidney or taking half the kidney. Mm -hmm. Um, and so then he went out to the doctor, the doctor come back, the main doctor, my urologist come in and, um, very nice, very, very nice, oh, you know, it was super nice, you know? And he said, listen, he said, uh, it is a pretty, I mean, it is, it's pretty big mass he says but you are in a Furman grade one which is actually really good it goes Furman one two three and four which we had already read about you know um so that was good um he said I'm gonna show you he says do you want to see the film scan of it or the film of it and I was like no I don't want to see that thank you but no thanks and he said um that so then he drew me a picture to show me, okay, look, they could save like a piece of my kidney because blood vessels are still going to that piece of kidney. He said, but it would be easier to take the full kidney. He said, and if that's what you choose to do, you will live a perfectly healthy life with one kidney. There's no problem with that. So I said, okay. I said, well, then my mind is made up. And he looked at me kind of like, already? Like I didn't even right. explain everything. Right. And I said, if you say the whole kidney has to go, then the, the whole kidney is going to go mm -hmm. because I'm not going to, it's, I think more of a peace of mind for me not to have to wonder, Oh, I wonder what that little piece of kidney is doing. Is anything going on that little piece of kidney? You know what I mean? It's more for my peace of mind than anything else. And the fact is I will feel better once the whole kidney's out and I don't got to think about it no more. Right. And now next week, um, every, they do it to everybody. Cause I got kind of nervous when he first said it. I wasn't sure like, why, but he wants to do a, um, a chest CT scan. So I go for that next Tuesday. Um, and I was kind of nervous when he said it, but when his nurse come in to talk to me after he had already walked out, um, she said, Oh, she's like that. There's routine. routine. They yeah. do it on everybody right. because he even said one of the reasons why they, they, they do it is to make sure it hasn't spread nowhere. Right. He said, it's very unlikely that it is spread. Um, he says, but we just do it just to make sure to just to be on the safe side, mm -hmm. which again, gives me a peace of mind. So I don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? Like I the to know, okay, take the little kidney bean and call it a day. Yes. Um, more than likely. Is as long as it has not like you know affected the tissues around the kidney, then they'll take the kidney. That's it. I won't need nothing else. If by chance it has affected something, then I might need a little bit of radiation. But the odds are that they'll just take it and that's it and it's done. Mm -hmm. Which I'm that's what I'm going with. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say thank you. I've seen all the prayers. Even um, Renee left a little poem and I read it to my mom this morning. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Like, I can't, exp again, I can't express how thankful I am of you guys. Um, you guys are amazing. My family was there today, except for Val, because she had to work. And Val's, feels, Val feels bad because she can't leave work, you know, because she just started the new job. But I explained to her, listen, don't worry about I'm fine. You know what I mean? Like, I earlier, I was a nervous wreck. Yes. I was. But now, but I was like, okay. Expected. I mean, honestly. Now, I'm like, okay, you got to take it take it now at least no it's that not knowing it's that torture of that waiting game of like okay what's he gonna tell me how's he gonna be is he gonna be rude like the first urologist even though he has great ratings what's he gonna be like you know what i mean and and it just it was just too much you know what i mean but yeah, now the peace of mind of knowing the staff at this hospital is amazing incredible. so Mom's it's uh, um so okay Sorry. go ahead hello Okay, thank you. 
our, gran you. our grandmother has lost power, so I, I am, they don't have, obviously they can't go online, so I'm going to report their power outage. Um, but I want to make this video first because I felt bad that it had already been too super late. Yes. So that's why I'm going to put this video up now. Um, the surgery will last about two and a half hours. I will be out for three and a half hours. Um, that includes like prepping and all that stuff. Now, I have never had a surgery before. So the only nervous part I have is about the surgery. Yes. Because, I, like, again, yeah, I've never had a surgery. I don't know... That just kind of freaks me out a little bit. But if if having this surgery means I wake up and there's no more cancer, listen, I'll have 10 if needed. No, a lot. I'm not going to have 10. <laughs> one splitting. One splitting. One splitting. No, and um, it's important to tell them, too, that her recovery is three to four weeks. Yeah, and um, and they said, and she said, it's probably going to be less than less that. Less than that. She but said, but eh, by six weeks, you're going to feel like it never happened. Right. And so I was like, and I get a nice, I get a, I get a nifty little scar. It's smaller. My, it's um, smaller it, than that. Yeah, it's well, it's about three inches. Yes. Um, and uh, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to maybe get a tattoo on it or something. <laughs> Still thinking. All in all, Jen feels you feel a lot better. Night and day. Like I feel great. I really, really trust this surgeon. You know, I feel great He's about him. Um, he he has amazing qualifications, you know. So I feel like I'm in great hands. The staff at Carmanos is great, and uh, yeah. So I want to get this log up soon. So I'm gonna put it up right now. I'm not gonna tag it with anything or anything. I'm just gonna put it straight up. Um, with kidney update, it's gonna be the uh thing. And um, yeah. All in all, I feel great. I'm so thankful for my hospital stay last last month, because. I would have never known. And tell them how impressed he was about our lifestyle change. Oh, so he asked, because uh, like uh, the, he said, um, I asked him, I said, you know, uh, oh, because he asked me if I was a smoker. Do I smoke? No. Do I drink? No. Do I do drugs? Hell no. And then I was like, I said, and plus, I said, we've, I said, this has been a complete wake up call for my family and I. I said, I, I said, we have changed our entire lifestyle in the matter of a month. And he, and so the resident asked, like, what are you doing? I says, well, let me tell you, we don't eat fast food no more. We don't drink soda. We only drink water. We don't eat late. We only put like healthy stuff in our bodies now. We really don't eat refined sugar. And he looked at me and he was like, he like that is all his, great. He, he closed, he closed his, his book. He was like, he was like, I don't even, I don't even have anything else to add to that. Great Just job. Keep it up. Yeah. And I was like, I feel better. I said so. He was like, no. He says you're gonna be fine. Yeah. He said, you know. He says we're gonna take perfect care of you here. Yep. And I was like, I just felt at ease. You know what I mean? I just felt like it gave you oh, peace. You know right. It, it did. It just. It was like. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. So again, thank you, Roadies. So much. Update is kidneys incredible. coming out. You bye. know what? Cool thing is. Bye, bye kidney. How much do kidney weighs? Yeah. I'm gonna say at least a half a pound. Sure. That's a half pound I got loose. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, think about it. That's so, like, that's going to come on the scale. Idea. That's like where your head goes. No, I'm thinking like, <laughs> that's like a good half a pound. A good quarter pound for sure. Moving on. Rodies, thank you so much. Rodies, we love you guys so very much. So, Again, so yes, much. thank you very much, Rodies. I owe a lot of hugs to yes. all of you. I brought you guys with me today. Yeah, we've Look, we were today. Can you I, do anything? I was like, there's the only way I could bring you guys with me because... All of you would not have fit in the rating room. I'm sorry, but um, but I was like, I'm wearing my today. I can do anything T-shirt because that that the roadies are like right here at my heart. Right here. All right, roadies, we love you guys. Say it with us. Today, today I, I can, can do, do anything. anything. Say it, believe it, achieve it, roadies. Say it, believe it, achieve it. I'm so thankful and so blessed today. It's not even funny, without a doubt. Roadies, that said, guess I'll see you next. Manana. Bye.